Now, the secret of achieving a really good finish is careful and thorough preparation of the surface before we start. The amount of time we spend at this stage will always be reflected in the final appearance of any piece of furniture. Now, I want to wax this, but it's not just as simple as that. A wax finish needs a really smooth base to sit on, so all the surfaces need to be carefully sanded using my use of that 220 grit paper first, mm -hmm. and then follow us up with something finer, maybe 320 grit. Okay. Now, the exact grades aren't critical. We just want a fine, smooth surface. Now, on large flat areas like this, I tend to use the paper around the sanding block. It's just a little piece of wood. And this avoids putting ruts in the surface. Keep it nice just like that. that. Then when you're finished, wipe the surface over with a tack rag. This is just a sticky cloth, mm -hmm. okay? Yep. And this collects and removes all the dust particles. If you brush them off, or even worse, sort of blow at the surface, it just fills the air with dust, which all then settles down. out on your nicely created new surface. So always use a tack cloth. Now, I know Emma wants to use this table in the kitchen dining area, so it's obviously going to take a fair bit of stick. So I think it'd be better to start with a coat of Brywax Sanding Sealer. This gives a much harder wearing surface and also increases the gloss level of the wax. So that's another good tip. Always use a coat of sanding sealer on wood, which is going to get a lot of wear and tear. Put the sealer on with a good, clean, two-inch brush. Cheap brushes are no good here. They don't let the sealer flow out properly and you get very, very uneven coverage. They also shed loose bristles into the finish so you get the best you can afford. Another really good tip there. Now, notice I'm brushing the direction of the grain, never across it. If you brush across, you end up leaving brush lines, which may be difficult mm. to remove later. Important always, not to do that. Yes, always brush up and down the grain. Sealer should dry in about 20 minutes, and then we need to denib it using some very fine steel wool. Now, for the zeros grade is absolutely ideal for this. Now, what a denibbing means is to sand off all these little rough patches, the bubbles or bits of dust that have settled in the finish as it's dried. Okay. You need to get it really smooth again. So, just cut yourself off a length of steel wool. Use scissors here, really, rather than just rip a piece mm -hmm. off. You can okay. have that and you can Thank do you. some of that side. Then just roll it up into a pad and work it up and down the grain like that. And you can see how much smoother that is already. It's, it's a lot better, isn't it? Yeah, yep. made quite a difference. Now, I'm going to use the original Bry Wax. It's a unique blend of natural waxes. Mm -hmm. It contains lovely soft beeswax, but this is mixed with a proportion of carnauba wax. It's the carnauba wax, which is a really hard wax derived from palm leaves, and this gives the wear resistance and gloss so characteristic of Bry Wax. Now, if you don't want to change the colour, it's a clear version, but there are also eight sort of subtle shades for toning of the wood. Now, we've chosen the rustic pine for this table to give it that sort of antique mm -hmm. look. Okay. Now it's a soft wax, we can apply it again with our steel wool. Mm -hmm. So just dip the steel wool into the wax and apply it to the surface, working along the grain of course, with the up grain and again. down, never across it. Okay. It's working up and down. As soon as the table's covered, just buff the whole top immediately using a really soft, dry cloth. Well, that's okay on the flat surface, how about the legs? Well, on the more intricate, fiddly bits, I tend to use a drill brush, which is one of these. And this is basically just a round brush on a spigot which you can mount in an electric drill. This obviously spins and buffs the surface for you, takes lots of the hard work out for you, makes the job much simpler on the fiddly bits. And there we are, well, that's finished. Isn't that a wonderful deep sheen? If this surface ever becomes damaged or marked, just apply another coat of wax to keep that natural look. Now we just need to finish the legs in the same way, screw on the top, this table's ready for your kitchen. Right. It really is that simple.